All right, you just yell at me like how you yelled at him. Go ahead. What are you doing? Why are you talking to them? I can't take you nowhere. That's my best friend's party. Come on. I literally am going to have to hear about this tomorrow. Please. No, don't say that. Don't say anything. Please be quiet. No, because you stay cheating. You stay acting like a hoe. I can't take you nowhere. You need to go home. Don't leave me. Where are you going? Come back. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I don't, I can't. No, be quiet. Stop. I, every crazy. single time we go somewhere, we cannot her, go anywhere. Her, we <laughs> cannot go anywhere. Well, I, thought, I can't you take you, you anywhere. Please, like, can you please just act like you want to be with me or we do not have to go places. We can deal with this inside, not outside. Sorry, I was busy playing song. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we put the cuckoo back in the clock here, lady, for just a minute? <laughs> Listen, I know that, was, that was rough. That was that rough. Was like, yeah. That sounded like you rehearsed this. Yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy, bro? I dealt with a girl like that. I dealt with a girl like that. This shit more top. This shit's the most toxic shit ever. And if a dude is like, oh, that shit, he's just as toxic. It happens. So that shit's not attractive. Like, like literally at all. Not at all. So it happens so many times where, like, at that point, I would just like go off i would non-stop like i would lose my voice just screaming at him because there was nothing i could say for him to actually stop what he was doing so i would just say everything i have like a random hey, what makes it crazy bro she thinks like she thinks her acting that way is correct and her reason and her reason behind behind it is the reasoning is because he wouldn't listen to me so if you're not listening to me right if you're not listening and it's not working out do you think screaming and yelling gonna make it better like come on that was some real shit well he's not listening to me so so screaming and yelling will just make it better just add fuel to a fire maybe leave maybe walk away I guarantee you, I guarantee you a lot of shit he was doing because of the way she acts. I promise you. I promise you. Nobody want to deal with a girl who's, a, who's emotionally unstable. Because in her head, she's thinking like, okay, I'm acting this way because I'm hurt. But in reality, the way she's reacting is super fucking toxic. Like, it can, snort, it can start with small shit, like a little lie or like miscommunication. Yeah, it starts small. Like, dude be, so, dude be gentle at first. Oh, it's okay, baby. Don't worry about it. I understand where you're coming from, blah, 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 blah. I knew your ex did, but I got you. I won't do it. But she keep, but she constantly keep yelling. She keep having insecurities, and eventually the dude going to do it. Because it's like, bro, bitch, you keep constantly accusing me of shit I'm not doing. You're yelling. You're, you're not being peace to me. So I'm going to go find it somewhere else. And that's usually how guys are cheating. One-off scenario question. If like a guy came into your life and you and he was pursuing you and he was a good man and then this guy came back and he was like, No, I want you, which one would you take? Private chat. At this point in my life, I'm going to say the new person. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Only because every other moment of my life I've taken him back and it wasn't worth it. Every single time it wasn't worth it because he's still couldn't see me as someone who was worth being with and I want a, I want I want someone new who can see me as like a fresh beautiful soul and they don't have all this pent up anger against me or resentment because I let them do things that I shouldn't have and I should have walked away a long time ago. So let me get straight. Which would this makes no sense to me. Yeah, I'm putting up It made no sense it made no sense to me. She said Hold on. She said she said, I want somebody new, pretty much. Pretty much, she's, pretty much, she said, I want somebody new, right? Fine, you want somebody new. That's cool, right? Hold on. Sorry, I'll finish that. She said she wants somebody new, right? Cool. She said, I want somebody who don't resent me, who don't hold stuff against me. You know, I'm like, okay, so you want somebody who don't hold shit against you, who don't resent you. Then she said, because of the stuff I let him do. There's no way in hell he's resenting you and mad at you because you let him cheat. No way in hell. He probably would resent you and mad at you because the shit you was doing.
So, so every, so, so, so he probably doing shit because he mad at you. Dude, that's probably why he's doing it, mad, mad at you. So what I'm hearing is, well, this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing, oh, I did nothing wrong with all him, but in reality, I already did do a lot of bad shit, and he's do, getting back at me. I just, I want to date somebody new, so they don't like know what shit I did. It's a fresh start, and I don't have to take accountability and admit to the shit I did. That's exactly what she sounds like. So you said that you blocked this guy's family. Yes. You're not gonna go over there anymore. No. <laughs> okay. If yes. you want to call right. some shit she did, especially in black families. Now let's say let's say her uh past her uh, ex was black, especially in black families, because because you're a good girl, but love you. The mom will oh, even after a breakup, the mom will still love you. But there's some shit she did to make his family hate her. That's why she blocked the whole family. There's some, she did some crazy shit. It's all this. She she's literally she's is literally saying her own red flags without her saying her red flags. Oh, just know. call me. I got you. Bro. <laughs> I think we've all been there though. I'll be honest. Like the on and off, it takes a minute. And you say the real brat. I think that's when you take your power back. When you start yes. realizing your self worth and self respect, and you're just like, I don't want to deal with the shit anymore. So you. Need know you deserve better but as someone who's been through it sometimes it takes a couple of a couple of times for you to realize it and then your friends have all seen it and <laughs> you start slowly seeing what they saw and then you realize that it's time to cut it off but i'm proud of you I'm, I'm gonna cut through all this bullshit i'm look i'm just gonna come out and say it. you're not gonna like it um she's the abusive one yeah she is <laughs> she's being abusive you can e thank you, Brian. You can easily tell she's the abusive one. Like, bro, this bitch is abusive. You can easily call her out. Easily. She's, she's for sure has a lot of she she you oh, need she a lot it, of healing, she, my she, child. She's but, she's yeah, but you, you're telling you're telling her you don't no, have I'm to saying, put up with it anymore. No, no, hang no, on, no, hang on. Like, 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 like I get I get what Brian's saying too, because she's not she wasn't gonna tell her she's toxic. She wasn't gonna do it. Brian had to come out and say some shit for her to but she straight up wasn't going to tell her. She's like them fake ass friends. Like, girl, you deserve better. You can move on. She was like, I'm happy you got out of the relationship. Sometimes it takes a while. You know, you got to love yourself. You see what your friends see. You sh she should have been like, bitch, you, you're fucking toxic. Like, bitch, you're, you're toxic, dude. You need to fix yourself. You need to go love, work on yourself before you ever try to date again. Then maybe you and him can work out. But nah, you can't fully blame the guy. She's, she's fucking toxic. Yeah, she's toxic. Hang on, it's her journey. No, oh, it's her journey. It's, her no, journey. it's, her no, it's, journey. Not, it's not that. It's the fact that I'm it's saying that she shit. definitely needs. I'm not saying she doesn't need help. So the fact that she needs to go through, she has a lot of unhealed trauma for herself. But at the same time, she's not putting up with this. So now you have to focus on yourself. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If if somebody yelled at me like that, girl, I would have cut you. I would have moved, changed my phone number, blocked you, like left. But it is the yeah, it is bro, that bro, resentment. Bro, bro, bro. It is that pent up what you're not getting. To be frustrated, matter, you're both bro. toxic. And I, that, I thought like that shit doesn't matter. Like, girls just think because, like, because they're hurt, they can do the fuck they want to. You can't do that shit. Like, you can't. Like, the best type of woman, bro, is a woman who can, can emotion, who can control her emotions. That is like the strongest type of woman because you're emotional. So if you can, like, same way, the strongest type of guy who to one who have discipline. That's a that was, that's like a top notch guy. Like the, or, or like a top notch trait, discipline. Same thing with females. You can control your emotions and control how you react to your emotions and shit, but you're a top notch. Yes, yeah, so her saying, well, I was mad, I'm upset, I'm screaming and shit. All you're doing is adding more fuel to the fire. You're just making him more mad. So yeah, I'm gonna cheat on you again. Like bro, like look how you acting, dog. Yeah, well, cause I'm hurt. Okay, so I get, I guess you hurt, but like this is not the first time you acted this way. It's not new to me. I'm just used to it now. That's why I did what I did. And it just keeps getting more toxic and toxic because you're letting it happen. So he doesn't respect you. You don't respect yourself. He's not listening to you. He's tuning you out. And you get more frustrated because you don't feel hurt. So it's like literally a toxic thing that just keeps fucking building up, building up. Sometimes, and somehow she put it back on him. He ain't listening to you. No, you ain't feeling hurt. Maybe he ain't feeling hurt. Maybe she not listening to him. That's why he acted. You ever thought about that?
That that could be a part. But nope, girls will never put that in, girls never put that shit in the equation. They just say you did what you did because you ain't shit. But she went out and cheated, they understand. If she's not talking to other guys, they will understood. She crazy, bro. Until it explodes. Have, have you guys ever had a physical alt altercation? I see that. I see that. I see that. <laughs> yes, we have, but it and she's laughing like it's funny. She feels no shame in it. None. You can tell she feels no shame. Now she might be like, well, I do feel no, you're laughing. You don't feel shame. It wasn't it wasn't as bad as I would say um like no abuse goes. I I'ma be honest. I think that but this I, was, uh, this was you was physically attacking him, right? This is this is where we're going. <laughs> if I could make a prediction. She did it. That one, that's why she said, well, it wasn't that bad. Like, it wasn't like a abusive. Yeah, because she's the hitter. So she's trying to tone it down. But if he was the hitter, she'd be like, oh, my music beat me all the time. And I could defend myself. Yeah, she would have done all of that. And, bro, this, this is how you find, uh, this is how you easily can tell somebody's a narcissist. That's why Brian Cotter, like, oh, yeah, bro, she's a narcissist. Like, yikes. Like, yeah, uh, yikes. yikes. I believe that. I hit him and then he hit me back. So I literally started crying. I was like, oh my God, you hit me. But I was so mad I did hit him. Yeah, I was... but you can't raise your hand if you don't want to expect to get hit. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank I should you. Did this happen more than once? This happened not many times. I would say three times in the same yeah. week to where There's a lot. There's it was a lot. like we were actually fighting. But he was fighting me to a point where he wanted me to stop, and I was fighting him to a point where I was angry. So it was like he wasn't... So he was defending himself. Yeah, he wasn't yes. like hurting me or anything. He was genuinely trying to get me He was like holding your arms. Or yeah. So. And in the three times, of the three times you mentioned, you were the initiator in all of them? Yes. Okay, and what were you slapping him? What were you doing? I slapped him a few times. I like I would punch him in the back and like in the arm. This is so he bad, cut, but he cut, he cut I was. Up. You took okay, so you don't see how she's not laughing no more because the room's not laughing. Like like the room's not laughing. So like, if she was probably with her whole ass friend group, toxic ass friends. And her friends are probably like, oh, get her, girl. And they were probably laughing, and she probably giggling and laughing. Because when she first started talking about it, she tried to hide it, but she laughed to see how everybody... She tried to hide it and try to die it down, like, oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> but then, she, uh, said not that bad. Then, as it kept going, nobody laughing. She kind of... Her laugh started dropping, and it started going from laughing to that little giggle. Now she's like, huh, 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 huh. Because nobody in the room laughing. So her spirit can't be up. She's like, oh shit. Like now she feels shame. It's because what she did is wrong. It's like, yikes, bro. Like, damn, bitch. And she's always like, well, I know. Now she's like, well, I know it's wrong. Like, yeah, shame. He was like so angry. He would sit on his phone in my room and text other females, people that I used to be <laughs> friends with. Now she's making excuses because everybody's shame. Now she feels shame. Now she's trying, like, well, uh, well, he did blah 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 blah. Andrew Butler laughed at saying that doesn't mean hit him. Probably most like most likely going to say or kind of go around doesn't mean hit him. That doesn't give you the right to do what you did. <laughs> That's why that I would see every day, and I would just like scream at Stop, sorry. him. Stop, Like, please, like, don't do that. Get off your phone. He, it was a game for him. He was having so much fun, so I would like hit him. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> I was crazy. I mean, honestly, I don't think he's at fault either because, like Brian said, he was honest with you. Like, you, he didn't have any consequences because I've been through that where I had an ex. He said he wanted options, and I was like, that's no, no. I'm sorry. Bye. But he didn't have any consequences, so he really didn't care. And he told you what he wanted, which wasn't really you, and it hurts to hear it, but you just kind of, like, want to force it on him, and then you're just getting frustrated because you're not getting what you want. But you're, it's almost like selective hearing. You're literally not listening to what he's saying and you're just like but give me what i want and he's like well this is what i'm giving you and you just don't want to accept what he wasn't giving you yeah. <laughs> all right kumbaya yep yep now she hurt shame it but like that that's something she needed to hear that's something she really needed to hear like like that's something she really needed to hear, because now you like, cause it's like, it's like she um, it's like she 
she knew what she do was wrong, right? But she didn't really hear it. She she, she knows the back of her head what she did was wrong, and she knew, yeah, maybe I, I'm not right for him because she knew what she did was wrong. But to actually hear it, it's like fuck, and that's why she only broke down. Like she only broke down, just like, 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 she, like, like she looking herself in the mirror. Pretty much, you have to look yourself in the mirror sometimes. It's okay though, it ain't bad. Like shit, it is what it is. Like everybody gotta go through. Y'all look yourself in the mirror. You gotta admit the shit you did. And if she ever get a chance to see him, she should apologize to dude. Even if he don't apologize, even if he never say sorry, bro. She should just apologize. She should just apologize. Can I get a? Home? This is also. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is also. Uh, <laughs> wait, you said he's adopted. Yes, I I feel so bad that I put that out there, but it's part of our love story or was love story. Did you adjust the mic, Nick? Uh, I did. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, my mic is messing up too. It's also an L for this guy to actually tolerate this level of disrespect. He's clearly the victim in this whole situation. He tolerated it because he loved her. That's why he loved her. He talked to her, he talked, even though he was cheating and shit, he loved her, bro. He loved her. But okay, can I give a can I give a counter though to this, Brian? I'm gonna I'm gonna counter signal you here. Okay. What if it's you know it's 11 o'clock at night and he wants some Arby's and it's really far away and it's open 24 hours, you know, seven days away. You know, she can go get the Arby's for him. You know, and and she'll just do it, right? But so, like, in his defense, who wants to get up Ladies, at 11 o'clock at night? I'm going to Carbo oh, San Lucas in February next year. Would any of you on the panel boat to meet Bucky Larson for six nights in a row if I flew you out to Carbo? Okay, I guess show of hands. Anybody here willing to take him up on his, this Bucky Larson wants to fly you guys out to Cabo? No. Anybody? I'm taking up. <laughs> Shit, bro. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, yes. Bucky. Sorry, Andrew. Go ahead. Sounds like. Same. Just saying. Yeah. I, you know, I I understand what you're saying. Kind of an L for him because he's, you know, continuing to kind of lead her on and this kind of thing. But, um, you know, I really feel like that that's deviating away from female accountability in this instance. Once you get to the, well, I hang out with his parents and his siblings in order to get closer to him. I feel like uh, he's just kind of stuck at that. But, like, what the hell is he going to do? What's he going to, like? Like, he can't, ab he can't avoid it. Yeah, he like, can't avoid her. You keep inserting right? yourself in his life. Like, yeah. I mean, we do that. Like, let's be real. We've I done that a lot. We keep in touch with the fa family You're, because wait, wait, we want to get back. Say it. What? <laughs> I was trapping him for a certain yeah. amount of time. That's what I wanted as well. And then it just got dreadful. And then I started asking myself, why am I here? Why am I doing this? But at first it was like, oh yeah, like his mom invited me. Oh, I'm coming. Like, but then it, it I started to like gather myself. His adoptive mother. Yes. His is his mother aware of the nature of your guys's physically would, violent relationship yes, i would tell her all the time and she would tell me like that he's not ready to be in a relationship and that he needs to like grow a lot more within himself especially with his personal issues and that it's like not right for me to be with him but i would never listen to her so this whole thing's a massive clusterfuck <laughs> that's fucking horrible advice hey maybe i should be together y'all fight Hey, maybe you need to do some more growing and he should do some more. Not you try not just blame the damn dude. Like you have to give both advice. Bro, come on now. <laughs> uh I picked Purdue Global because I think having an online platform to learn is really great for the lifestyle I live and the best way for me to get an education. Uh, the adoptive mother is not advising her adopted son to try to exit a physically abusive relationship yeah, uh, yeah that's why i'm just not willing to throw this poor guy under the bus just yet i'm just yeah, uh, I'm just not i'm just not quite there uh he seems he seems like uh, he seems like he's had a hard time i mean you're beating him up <laughs> ingratiating yourself into his family won't well, leave him alone you yeah, know like, i mean like, like uh action to him but like he is but he eventually going to tweak out like bro like, uh, you can only handle so much he's gonna eventually tweak out he probably would he 
You kind of sound like a pain in the ass, honestly. Yeah, bro. Like, I had to act like that, bro. Yes, oh I gosh, do. Bro. And that's why me and him can't be together because we have so much yeah. trauma in our history. But I don't see it like that, which is part of my problem. I see it all as like a long love story. But in conclusion to this whole that's situation, love, I feel that when you are not getting what you need or you need to receive in a relationship, you need to remove yourself or else it'll bring something else out of you that is not beautiful and that you don't need to experience. And that's exactly what happened here. It's just- Yeah, I know, not really, because he tried to remove himself and then you <laughs> inserted you know, yourself after- Like, bro, she's trying to, she trying to give a fucking fairy tale. He tried to remove himself, right? So it's not really what what happened here. <laughs> Wait, he don't get to remove himself? Is that what you said? Yeah, he does not get to remove himself until we both feel that that is what needs to happen. But now oh. that I'm thinking about what it now, fuck? it's okay. I Have you ever seen the movie Psycho? You know the shower scene with that music. <laughs> yeah, you know that music is playing. Right there. Wait, 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 wait. That's all. That's all I hear. It's all I hear right now. Is that this poor guy is gonna have a shower scene soon? He's he's just gonna you know he's gonna get off a hard day's work, and then that's it. The curtain's gonna open, and that's gonna be it for him. In all fairness, you know, he doesn't get hair. to quit, right? He doesn't get to quit me. He's not allowed to. By the way, uh, TTS has been bumped up to uh, back to two hundred. Um, the whole situation is an absolute mess. Um, are you trolling or is this legit? No, I'm this so serious. Okay. If he were to watch this right now, he would be so happy because you're validating his point. Everything that he says, you are validating. Yeah. He would be so happy right now. He'd be like, yeah, I told you she's crazy. Like, Is he I wrong? Told her is he wrong? I am crazy when you drive me to craziness. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. It's all his fault. This poor like I'm in the zodiacs and astrology and shit. She seems like a fucking Scorpio. That what she seems like. I I can't think of another sign like that. Who just who who's batshit crazy? Nah, see, but see, she's not batshit crazy. She's emotionally crazy. She's not. She's not like batshit. Bad shit, you just crazy in general. You laughing and stuff. But she feels bad, though. She, like, you can tell she feels bad about the shit she did. She's still laughing, like, laughing it off. But she genuinely feels bad. She expressed how much she loves him. And so, I'm going to get a Scorpio from her. Or, like, a water sign. I, I'd be, like, water. Maybe, like, maybe a Virgo. Yeah, maybe Scorpio. Uh, maybe... Shit, um, Pisces, you want your water, your water, yeah, that's not or logical, reasonable human being. Is he watching who, this? You, I'll who, help who you hang out with his family, this poor, this poor, deranged lunatic <laughs> whose family you're hanging out with. I know it's uh, poor, the you know, poor you, really, poor you. Yes, you manipulative, yep. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I mean, I appreciate your. I mean, you're honest. Yeah, that's commendable. Yeah, she be, she be honest. She's, yeah. she's. Yep, look, be honest. I love yeah. that. She's honest. At least we can give her that, right? Yeah, honestly, psychotic. <laughs> Dark hair. Uh, I'm not psychotic mental. anymore. I have. Style with she acts. Mm -hmm. Uh, admitting the fault, explaining both sides of the story. It seems like she's on a healing journey as a Scorpio. That usually is how we are. Like, because because it's like she started hitting him and trying to hurt him because like she's emotionally hurt. And she says a love story. It's like crazy shit. Would maybe would maybe really be like you know what she's a Scorpio when she was like. I'm done. Like when she was like, "We done." When I say we done, 
I'm like, oh yeah, she, that's Scorpio. Completely removed myself and I'm continuing to remove myself every single day. I'm continuing to you know, understand crazy, what not being loved correctly does to me. I don't put him at fault. I put myself at fault because I should have taken removing myself from the situation a very wrong, long time ago and me staying like is what so she, she brought this monster like out of me and it's not like because that. of him yeah. it's because of me like and no I way. take full accountability for that and that's why moving forward I want to make sure that I know what triggers me and that I don't put myself in those positions and being not wanted triggers me so I'm not going to be in any position where I am not wanted have you have you ever damaged any of his property? Yes. <laughs> I just love the honesty. I, though. Uh, like like what? He got me. Okay, one one time there was a Christmas um, that had one of the Christmases a few years ago, and I had got him like all of these gifts. He used to like smoke in his mom's house, so I would buy him like candles so that you couldn't smell it. His mom was so mad. Um, but I had pressed him. I was like, why didn't you get me a gift? Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't care if you don't have any money. Like, like you could you could hustle and get me something. Like, I was so upset. And then one day in January, he had, like, this long um, pole, and he, like, he gave it to me, and inside of it was this long, big picture of the Vincent Van Owen um, sunflower painting. It's like a pot with like all the sunflowers in Wait, it. Wait, Vincent Van Gogh? Yes, Vincent okay. Van Gogh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're gonna understand why Wait, so, okay, I don't so remember you, the name. So you broke the vase or whatever? No, did? what happened was it's a painting. It's a long picture frame painting of the picture that he gave me. And then um, a few days later, he took me. We were walking down like a bunch of streets. He's like, we're almost there. We're almost there. I'm like, what are we doing? I guess he had bought a picture frame for it on offer up and he put it together we put it together it was like almost as big as this table a really big like vincent van gogh picture. and you destroyed it what you happened destroyed was it. one day wow. he didn't want to see me and this was about like um six Ooh, months later i was toilet. like very like in a traumatic phase of my life and i really needed him to be there for me but he was out with other girls and like with his friends who would take him with other girls and i was very Yo, much it upset. was time to wreck that shit it was time to wreck jealousy if she jealousy if she says something if she say something like i did this because i wanted him to, i did I, I did this if she's it's jealousy if she say something like i told him i'm gonna do this because if he don't do this that scorpio trait never tips you scorpio if she does something like that to teach him a lesson <laughs> I was so he needed upset. to be taught a it lesson was like watching me you know? everything that he gave me was watching me so i was like okay whatever i had some lighter fluid in the back i grabbed Ooh. the lighter fluid i grabbed some matches i walked down the street like where all the crackheads were i started smashing the paint what i recorded it this is on instagram <laughs> I retract my free offer. I'm going to need to charge you extra and some liability and insurance. <laughs> I smashed it into pieces in the crackhead alley, and I literally <laughs> lit it up with crackhead lighter fluid. They were hyping me up. I lit it up with lighter fluid. I sat there. I started recording, and I just let it burn. I just sat there, just, like, watched it burn. He had given me this big stuffed animal monkey, and, like, it just reminded Damn, me of him because when bro, we first met, he was, like, kind of fat. Hard, so, like, baby. I called him yeah, fat, hey, hey, fat you, daddy. <laughs> yeah, I gave me like this fat monkey. And so I was like, okay, like this is him. I did not want the monkey. So like I tried to burn it. I ran out of lighter fluid and there was a dog walking around. I was like, here doggy, you want a toy? And then the dog took it. He ran off with it. I just like said. Does he have a car? Oh, wait, before I tell you if he had a car, he had some nice clippers and some nice cologne. I gave that to the homeless man who watched me burn his stuff. Charity. Oh, so you, you gave your stuff away. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so does he have a car? He has a car now. Have you ever when, damaged his, co his car? No. When we were together, he didn't have a car. Okay. If he had a car, would you have damaged it? <laughs> I probably would have stolen it before I would have damaged it. Only because in that phase of my life, like, oh my everything God. that was his was ours. And if he wasn't mine, it's what? still mine. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know what she is. My bad. Hey, I wrong. 
Everything that was his was ours? Ours. So if he had a car, it was our car. And if he didn't want me, it was my car. I would have, like, when he left stuff with me, it was mine. That's why I gave his stuff away. That's why I lit his stuff on fire. Yeah. I would. If he had a car and we were together, I would have taken his car. You know what's crazy to me? If he would not have me, been able to go see other girls in that car, I would have had the car. You know what's crazy to me about this conversation is... If there was a man sitting where you're sitting telling us the exact <laughs> same shit, but like, like flip the genders, uh, the gravity. The gravity of this room, that room is crazy. The bro, them girls have been all cuddled up with each other. This is why I hate men. They would have done all of that shit, but with her, they're laughing like, "Girl, you need a heal. It's okay." No, bro. Shit, crazy. Double standard. Heavy toss of the situation would be like way different. Like yeah. girls are kind of like chuckling. She's chuckling. She's laughing about it. Not only if a guy was like revealing all these all these things, but he was laughing as he did. <laughs> this guy would be like. Public enemy no, number they, one. They yeah. will want to go under. This is kind jail, of bro. interesting to me how that works. Um, well, he'd be on his ninth restraining order. You know, I mean, his, his picture would be plastered all over. Don't date this guy because he's a lunatic. Dot com, right? I mean, he would have, he would have everything on planet Earth going against him. But you, it's just like, oh well, well, you know, I'm in a nice little picnic dress, and uh, you know, I burned this guy's shit and handed all of his stuff off to homeless people. I'm nice. I'm a real sweetheart. I very much am a sweetheart. As long as I'm not with him, everything's good because being with him really triggered so too. much of myself that I needed to. Yeah, it's his, it's his fault. It's, really it's, his not, fault. it's not crazy, his fault. Bro. It's my fault. But it's also a good thing that it happened. Not for him, of course, but at least for me because I got to realize these sides of myself that I wouldn't ever want to do again. Like, I still look back and I know I just said a lot of crazy things, but I miss that monkey, that fat That's monkey. That's what I'm going to start saying to my wife. I'm going to go in and be like, painting. you burnt the roast and I'm going to smack the shit out of her and they're going to be like, it's your fault. You bring out the worst in me. I can't help crazy, it. Right? It's all That's you. Crazy. If you didn't bring my fingers wouldn't be bruised right now from decking you so many times. It, but it's you. You did it. Yeah. That's. I mean, does that sound reasonable to you, or does that sound like I'd go to prison? <laughs> I was not 18 yet enough to do real time, so I was kind of in the green zone. So let's wait this so you can get away with it. You, <laughs> green zone. Was uh, where did you go? To like, did you catch a case for any of this shit? No, I never got did caught for none of this stuff. Like. Yeah. How old are you? Um, 20. Well, I mean, you say that it's only with this guy, but ha have any of these behaviors manifested with other men? No. What's crazy is that I think now I'm realizing my karma. Every single guy that I have, like, talked to or tried to be with after him have all been psychopaths. And all of my friends know, if you're out there listening, I literally... Back what you are. You track what you are. Have dealt with psychopaths consistently after this, and it's it's torn me even more to the point where now I don't know how to be in a relationship because at first I was like this crazy like wanting to be loved girl, but now like I'm dealing with people who are doing the same thing to me. I actually it's making sense to me now that I have been living out my karma. Every